All right, guys, we got a fun Friday project here. We've had this JCR off-road do-it-yourself bumper kicking around for about a year now. We use it as a prop with the TIG 200 ACDC. We did some areas, worked out pretty well, but we need to get it done. I'd like to put this on my old Willys Jeep. It's built for a CJ7, YJ, or TJ, but it should be pretty easy to adapt. And we're actually gonna push the limits of our new welder, the MiG-90. The MiG-90 is rated for an eighth inch. This is 3 16 We got an amp clamp on here. We'll show you what it actually puts out. So we're gonna dig into this and show you how well this thing holds up. Well, with all these long welds, we're getting a little bit of spatter here and there. We're gonna hit this with some anti-spatter. It's gonna save us a lot of cleanup work afterwards. Done about 36 inches of weld so far. Got a few more inches to go. It's coming out real nice. I'm having to skip around where we had already TIG welded, but we'll grind this all down. It'll look good. Well, this thing's really putting out some power. We're just most of the way across the bumper here. It's putting out around 115 amps. Really doing a great job, staying real consistent. Got a couple more inches here, then we'll be able to flip this thing. Make a mistake, you hit a little dirt, don't be afraid to grab a grinder, start over. So a lot of people ask what kind of weld settings we're running with our machines. Right now I've got the machine set up just over 20 volts, basically maxed out as much as I can. And then I'm running right around 212 inches a minute. 030 wire, standard ER70S-6. So we've been welding for about seven minutes now. Just repositioning here, making sure I'm comfortable as I'm doing the weld. But we're not really taking any breaks. This machine's having no problem at all. It's got a 25% duty cycle, but we won't even see that here with today's project. So right now, we're trying to get the bumper all set up on this fixture block, trying to get it comfortable to where I've got that nice open corner sitting in sort of a horizontal plane. That's gonna make it easier to weld, more comfortable we'll have. So with the MiG-90, we just don't have the heat we need to be able to weld this 5.8 steel plate. What we are gonna be able to do is take a map gas torch and preheat this 5 8 plate, put as much heat as we can in with the MiG-90, go really slow, get as much penetration as possible, and build up multiple welds. That's gonna give us the strength we need and still be able to use our 120 volt weld. So that turned out pretty good. You can see we've got wetting from edge to edge. Doesn't really have any curl to it. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so we've got these D-ring tabs welded on as best as we possibly can. They are hot. We've got multiple passes on both sides. What we're also gonna do, we're gonna flip it over, weld the back side. We had done some with the TIG 200 already. I think we got a couple areas we still gotta weld up the MiG-90. We got really consistent penetration all the way across with the MiG-90. It did a great job, real consistent. We got a little bit more to weld up, we'll be done. All right, we got this thing all welded up and the MiG-90, it did a great job. We got some grinding to do, especially around these clevis tabs. You know, we had to do multiple passes here, put a lot of heat into that thick steel just to get as best penetration as we can. We also welded them from the backside. And that's really the best you can do with what we got. Otherwise, on the 3 16 it did a really nice job. We got penetration all the way through, you can see it on the back side. You know, the way that they build these bumpers with the open corner, it's really easy to put together. It's just fun to weld. So we're gonna get it grind up, cleaned up, and I think Dave's even talking about powder coating it. So this is just one of the many projects you'd be able to do with the MiG-90. This thing's great for sheet metal, it's great for general auto restoration, and it can even handle these heavy fab projects when you take your time and really think about working with what you got. You know, for more information about that MiG-90, check it out on eastwood.com.